Hello YouTube, Night Hunter here, and for today's video, I just wanted to address one or two things. Uh, firstly, there's at the making of this video and editing it, we are on January 30, or the 3rd, 30, I don't know how do you say that. Well, in two days, it's going to be in February, and there is still no news since December. Um, I'm a little bit shocked, to be honest, I was expecting something... Uh, like two weeks ago, uh, with others being out of rotation, I was thinking they're gonna implement the other stuff in. There was nothing. The only thing, like I said, was the uh, Twitter post, and since then, nothing. So, while there was no information, we were like going for oh, it's gonna be uh, one week after that. Well, now Bumper is out of rotation. There's still no new offer. No, nothing. Um, yeah. So now my last line of defense to cope with that is people that played Star Wars are being used to that amount of downtime without communication. Um, and, and many of them are telling me that they are probably waiting for the new calendar push for February and doing a big update at the same time. So explaining the new calendar, explaining the new February months and giving us maybe something worth it. So if they've been working since early January, like let's say the, the 8th, Monday the 8th, there are three weeks without communication, but it's three weeks that they might have been doing works on the game to update us with a new gameplay mode or something, quality of life with Glyph. So I'm trusting the Star Wars player community that's telling me, yeah, it's not unusual. Uh, now my last attempt to guess the real date uh, it's gonna be the 1st of February where we'll get news. And if there's no news then... Well, I think, I, I, I think I'm done trying to bet on that. <laughs> uh, because that just... I, I don't know how to say that. I've never seen that much of a communication downtime. Even when I've been scammed in other game or... Uh, pre-release or early access there was always communication there was always something but now uh having no information nothing no nada i've never seen that in my life so i'm a little bit shocked about it but like i said people are saying it's usual for cj to do that so i'll bite it and i'll just wait until february 1st and if we see a calendar and other news i'll be glad if not well, I guess I have to make content anyway for this game until we have an official shutdown or other news incoming. So, uh, what content I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you today is one of my viewer. I honestly don't remember your name, sorry. Uh, ask for a what if fellowship team. Um, I do have Legolas, Gimli, and Gandalf. They are quite high up in level gear and stats uh, strider 2 so i'm just gonna show you guys what i think will be the next two fellowship legend uh not legendary but the marquees that they will release it's probably being aragorn mix up with the legolas gimli and boromir because i don't think they're gonna put uh the hobbits out for like one or two character only to fill up the fellowship i think they're gonna go with boromir so we're gonna have the Gondor Boromir, like this one here I'm using in that picture, and there's gonna be the Fellowship Boromir. I think later down the, the line they will release the four Hobbits as a Fellowship add-on content, or maybe a Hobbit pack or whatever later down the line for the Fellowship team. So this is what, within game right now, we have. I'm expecting the Fellowship to be. Sure, it's not going to be perfect because Boromir uh, is basically <laughs> not upgraded for me. You can see me scroll down here. He's a 4-star, 1k damage, 
uh, I mean level up. And all his kit is only working with Gondor, so it's not working well with this here. He's just basically a meat shield for my other teams. My Strider, I do have him 7 star, 8k power, ability around 4 or 5 everybody, everything. Um, he's a little bit on the downside. Uh, it's been a while since I upgraded my Road to Rivendell team. So. But what I like about Strider here, he got a AoE. And Legolas, Gimli, Gandalf, yes, only Gandalf has a AoE, but it's a long cooldown, and it's not that much of a big deal if people resist the stun. Um, so having Strider here, it's actually useful for the AoE, and the fire damage is great too. So this is what they would look like. I will let the gameplay go on as I speak. For a chapter 1 run, I chose to go with difficulty 3. Uh, because I think that's what's probably the most accurate version of a power level. Uh, I'm struggling with my main team to get into difficulty 4. Uh, even with like Aomer, Eotain or Aowen uh, in chapter 1 paired with my fellowship team. So I figure if I'm having struggle with all my maxed out main team in difficulty 4. I'm not gonna even try to attempt that. I'm just gonna try and do a difficulty 3. Uh, knowing well that Boromir will not last long because of his power and gear level. But you can see that with the assist, with the taunt, with Gimli there, he's able to still hang around and do stuff. I will not recommend you to build this team, but I was intrigued on how they would perform all together. Yeah, it just got sniped. <laughs> um, but that's what I want to point out. In a fellowship team, it doesn't matter if one of your guy lose and die. The reason why is Gandalf Istari's gift. And if you're new to the fellowship, Istari's gift is basically here. It's uh, whenever this character is gonna play, like a basic ability or anything, it's its turn, it's gonna play. That Istari gift will move on to another character like Strider and allow Strider to automatically assist. So the lowest amount of member you have, the more back and forth and faster turn meter you're gonna get the Istari gift proccing. So if you have five men, uh, you have a random chance that the Istari gift will be sticking on a Strider here with not a full turn meter. Rather than if there was only Gandalf and Legolas, so now Legolas will play and Gandalf will close. They're gonna switch and trade really fast, the Istari gift uh, bounces between all of them. So this is why I wanted to keep showing up, even if I lost Boromir. This attempt was just more of a game of how oh, many turns I can allow Boromir to live, uh, because he's not high level. But I figured out I will still do the run as a form fellowship team because I expect in the real fellowship Boromir to be the one that's gonna tank and die first too uh, just because well the other character will be providing way more uh, help to the team that Boromir that's my guess and as you can see the Asteris gift is gonna proc on Gimli and it's gonna move to uh, let's say Legolas, yeah. Now Legolas can play again and move the Asteric Gift to um, somebody else, like Strider. So that just small jump, because I don't have a fifth member like Boromir to delay the assist, allow me to even score quite high with a only three member, four member of the team. Uh, yeah, they are well geared and well maxed, but that's what I wanted to show with the Fellowship team. How their synergy goes so well together and I'm really hyped for the next two characters. And I know I, I, I'm gonna bet on that. I know I don't have a winning bet uh, strike going on. But I did it with my goblins and it paid off with Tauren. So I'm gonna do it for my fellowship. That was my first team I wanted to make when they announced Legolas and Gimli in my account. Strider will be replaced with a Aragorn fellowship. I think Aragorn's gonna have a small eel and a AoE. 
on his kit is gonna be like a hybrid support healer AoE damage. Like, just remove the fire torch from a uh, strider kit and bring a AoE heal. I think, or a cleanse. I think that's gonna be what Aragon will be. Boromir will be a big tank with his horn. I do think he's gonna have a horned version. So, it's gonna be something like the Gondor one, but I think it's gonna be more brawler on the side than a full pure tank like Gondor is. And the reason why, I think it's because Fellowship is being built on utilities. Like, many characters in Fellowship teams can do pretty much anything. So, take Gimli for example, he's a tank, yeah. But he also have a snipe ability with his axe throw. He's also giving regen and support. He's not just a pure tank like Tordok. That is selfish and being a one tank, one taunt or grimpa. He's a tank that also gains retaliation and attack as a DPS. So I figure that Legolas, yeah sure he's a pure DPS but he also dispel. He also basic attack on two enemy having multiple uh, way to change the course of the battle. Gandalf, he can heal, he can stun, he can apply banes, he can give protection. He's a multi-task character. So I expect Boromir and Aragorn to be also multitasking member of the team. So Aragorn, like I said, AoE, heal or cleanse, I think that's going to be a skit. Boromir, I think he's going to have a taunt. Um, or if it's not a taunt, it's something that's going to be like every time um, something happens, he gets like odors, a retaliation or something that give provoke to him. So a little bit, I think that's going to be his main deal. Uh, and maybe he's the one that's going to be more focused on applying paints on the enemy team. Maybe a frightening stance or a stun or a shock or whatever uh, will be his mechanic. Maybe it's horn, it's not going to be a taunt, it's going to be something that debuff the entire team or disrupt even. Uh, and I'm thinking about that because if you put the fellowship team as they are right now in chapter 2, I'm going to show you later on, the only fire pain that can be applied is from Gandalf and it's a long cooldown or a weakening from the extra. That's the only two bane you can give the enemy team, like the troll. So having a fellowship right now without bane applying characters will struggle in chapter two for sure. And I'll show you a gameplay of that a little bit later on. But you can see it's an easy 900k. Uh, the AOE is helping the team Everything fits well together. So that's what I wanted to show you with this one team here. So even if you lose characters, you can see here, Hysteris Gift to Strider. Strider take his turn. Gonna put Hysteris Gift on probably Gimli. Yeah. Now Gimli's turn. So everything's move really, really faster. And they get stronger as they lose members. Just because of Gandalf. And here, I wanted to show you guys... What I think it's the best, if you're gonna play a fellowship team uh, with current characters, Merry and Pippin, I think they are the one that is really the best to showcase how strong they can be. Because again, I think they're gonna be part of a fellowship later on, but right now we don't have that version, we only have these two. And why I think they're gonna be good together is... He's a healer, Pippin, and you don't have real heals, only kind of regen and support and defense and the Hysteris gift moving around. Uh, so having a one heal burst from Pippin is really great. He also cleanses what Gandalf doesn't do. And you can get might on everybody, and you know Fellowship is an attacking team, so you want damage, you want Legolas to have might on his snipe, you want to bring the damage up. You gain haste from Mary, and you get a double tap target with the uh, mark. 
I don't remember the ability name, but you can mark a target and have a double tap. So they're really great in chapter one. Uh, I think they're doing all right in chapter two also. It's just that they need a little bit more damage. So this is the best composition you can do. And try to get your Gandalf up by getting chess and guild and stuff. So if you want to try a fellowship team, and you have nothing pretty much to add to the trio. Uh, for me, I'm using the Rohan trio, but if you're new and you don't have Rohan, but you invested a lot into Road to Rivendell, that is a composition you might consider. And I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead. Um, I don't think you guys want to see everything. You see how the dynamic is. I'm gonna show you just a little bit so you can see. Uh, they can also use basic attack and assist each other, so. Yeah, pretty much they fit well with the team of the Fellowship by assisting and attacking. And it's just trivial at this point. I'm never losing health. I'm never losing any anything. I could punch with difficulty 4 with that team. The only reason why I can't do that is Mary and Pippin are only gear 6 or 5. And they died too quickly to the massive AoE uh, Skull Crusher. Or a double tap from the Mangler. But if I invested to gear 9 and having all their abilities up, uh, I think they can be a 1.5 million team for sure in chapter difficulty, uh, difficulty 4, chapter 1. So that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip a little bit around and see. Using nothing. Uh, now I sacrifice Gandalf just for the fun of it. I'm like, oh, it's the last round. I'm gonna see if I can taunt. You can get aced here from Mary so that your uh, last and go faster this is really nice and I mean last and uh, you cannot pass because you cannot gain pure perimeter but you can get other things that procs it like a storm yeah you can heal so he stay alive longer that's pretty much what I'm trying to showcase but my Gandalf is not high level uh, he's not that great, but you can use a, a stun, get the bomber done. There's many things you can do with that team comp. It's really useful. I like them. That's pretty much it. And right now, it's the same thing. I tried to get the troll with a difficulty tree uh, with Strider, Burn, and Frodo expose. Uh, but sadly, you can see I'm not that high with Strider and. Even if it's 7 star, Frodo is the same, it's in the same boat. I'm not able to do quite what I wanted. I took Frodo out of the leftover fellowship member because he's applying the expos and I figured with Legolas and Gimli snipe like this, you can do a lot more damage. But since they are not glyphed up correctly and they're not gear up enough a lot of the time i'm not applying any banes i'm not applying anything so it was more of a fun trivial try on a fellowship team but this is the reason why you'll see i think having a boromir that applied debuff or weakening on his basic attack or some kind of retaliation doing like black beast uh, exposing every time you attack I don't know. I, I think it, they're gonna make a brawler kinda Boromir with the fellowship. And I think him applying debuff will be really, really useful. Uh, now it's not bad because I can remove momentum with only crits, but as you push toward difficulty 4 and 5, you really need the pain to stick. And. When you have only two or three characters that can do that, well, it's not going to be the best team for that chapter unless you constantly have increase and focus lift and you land everything that you have so that you can remove all the crits, all the damage. But yeah, this is pretty much the run. Um, I did not manage to get that far. Because here Frodo gets slapped a little bit later. 
And I'm not doing enough crit or enough dispel to try and get the momentum down. I don't do enough damage because I didn't land any expose or the fire from Strider is never landing. So yeah, he just ramp up and smash my team. But that was a fun try. I'm not doing chapter 3 and chapter 4 with a fellowship team. Uh, just because as you can see, I can do really well every time with my fellowship main trio. But the leftover that I did build up enough uh, will still get annihilated on any difficulty that matters. And I'm a little bit short of time with school. But I really wanted to show you guys some kind of ID. And I thought it was pretty fun to try out. And yeah, I'm really hyped for the next Fellowship characters to be released. But yeah, 70 momentum. I'm not gonna get through that. But you can see, I'm still growing my Fellowship. I'm having fun. I'm still growing my Torrens Company. Uh, but yeah, Gandalf's gonna be soon. And it's gonna be a fun road. And that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Like, even if I'm pushing for better difficulty and better uh, score, I'm also trying stuff out. Like, fun theme like the Fellowship ID. Thanks again, whoever commented that. That was a great ID for a video. Um, yeah. What can I say more? I think it's done. Thank you for being there. And yeah. Let's hope that CJ wake up and we have something else to discuss for the next one. Ciao bye.